If you have constant specific heats for ideal gas, then if you want to know the change in internal energy or the change in enthalpy, it's just C sub V times delta T or C sub P times delta T. So it makes it really simple when you have constant specific heats. How about change in entropy? Remember this equation, true, for constant specific heats. This is the most popular, C sub P natural log T2 over T1 minus R natural log P2 over P1. Uh, but this is its cousin equation. You don't want to forget these. You don't want to forget them. Also, you can manipulate this further if you have a special process. That special process is called isentropic. What does isentropic mean? Constant S, constant entropy, right? If you have S2 is equal to S1, that means this is zero for an isentropic process, true? And now I can rewrite this as C sub P natural log of T2 over T1 equal to R natural log P2 over P1, true? I can bring that C sub P over here, true? I can exponentiate X both sides, T2 over T1. Well, actually, when I bring it over here, I get that. But then I can also put it natural log of P2 over P1 to the power R divided by C sub P. Now I exponentiate both sides, P2 over P1 to the power R over C sub P. True? But there's a relationship between these R's and C sub P's and C sub V's. Uh, we recall K, like this constant K, is equal to C sub P over C sub V. True or false? And do we recall that R is C sub P minus C sub V? R now over C sub P is equal to C sub P minus C sub V over C sub P. True? Which is equal to K minus 1 over K. Thumbs up if you agree. So now we can get, hey, that's equal to P2 over P1 to the K minus 1 over K. At this point, we do have equation sheets, and, and you can say, I know how to rederive that, but in the interest of time, I'll, I'll just use the equation knowing, okay, there's a couple assumptions. One is it's ideal gas, constant specific heats, and it's isentropic. How many people will use this for non-isentropic, you know, in the vapor dome, you know, these three, I gotta need, I gotta have an equation. I better grab one. This looks like it'll work. Let me try it. Okay, you have to need to know when you can use it, when you can't. Can. Similarly, you can relate the changes in temperature to changes in volume for an isentropic process, ideal gas, constant specific heats, as well as pressure volume. Often we write this like PV to the K is equal to a constant during that process from 1 to 2. Well, if it's equal to a constant, that's the same constant at the beginning of the process as well as at the end of the process. Hey, you get that result. There's different ways of showing these equations.